This is Adrian Hart with your Southeast Colorado News on seconews.org. We're here at Lahana City Park for the Southeast Colorado Antique Vehicle Club Car Show. A little bit of a mouthful. Uh, for lunch today, come get a big mouthful of great food available here uh, with almost home cooking on the Megalodons. You guys want to uh, tell us what you're selling today? Uh, we're selling chips, drinks, and then we're also selling cookies and then a little later we're selling hamburgers, hot dogs, and a few other things. We have lemonade, tea, and water. Awesome. I had one of those breakfast burritos earlier. Those were bomb. Very good. Thank you for keeping us fueled up to give today's news. Thank you. Heck yeah. So you want to encourage people to come see and come have lunch? Yes. yes. Come see the Megalodons. Very cool. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, girls. You girls. All right. I'm here with uh, Jim Huff. He's, he's backing out of the shot, and I'm yeah. trying to get him in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank we kind, you of for... do, kind of do this every year. So Yeah, we're making it a tradition now. There you go. So he's going to join me on our walk through the city park, and we're going to talk about uh, the cool club members, because this is largely club members here today, right? Uh, yeah, we... But everybody's time, welcome. But it's open to anybody. Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, some people say, well, I don't want to bring my car because it's not finish yeah but we're proud to look at it if you're proud enough to drive it we're we, we, <laughs> we enjoy want to check looking it out. at it and we know that you got to start somewhere to redo them we so got we got a plug got. we got to plug dirt lovers uh bring a little money in your pocket and get some great food while you're here yes and join the club in this beautiful venue you guys do this every year right yes this is uh our annual car show and we've done it I can't even tell you how many years we've done it now, but uh, it, it's quite a number. Yep, and this is the spot to be today. Uh, you guys are going to go till 3 or 4 o'clock? Uh, it's supposed to go to 3 o'clock from 9 to 3 today. Okay. Beautiful uh, Chevy here. This is uh, Lee Fulbright's pickup. And I believe they've had it since uh, day one on this. It's stayed in the family. Wow. There we go. Here's Tony's Hot Wheels life-size car, right? Right. <laughs> Tony okay. Lopez. Uh, he's, it seems like he keeps adding to it. I asked him if that was a new hood, and he said, yeah. So, cool stuff. And I believe the vehicle next door is his, and I think they also have a bunch of Hot Wheels there, too. Yep, we've got a photo of all those Hot Wheels. They've been, uh, P Pam's been carting those Hot Wheels around for a long time. <laughs> hey, how we doing, Pam? Hey, we hey. Got a hole upstairs full of Hot Wheels. Trust me. This <laughs> cool. Is, this is just a tip. Now, this is one of the few vehicles here on display that's also for sale, huh, Tony? Yes, sir. You want, you want to give it the elevator pitch? The elevator pitch. The elevator pitch. It's a, it's a good buggy. I mean, it's fun to drive, and you can't uh, you can't buy a side by side. You yeah. Know, side by sides are looking about twenty grand, and you'll have twice as much fun with this thing. And it's street legal. Yeah, and it's Volkswagen. And it's a Volkswagen motor. You can work on it. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Oh, good reliable toy. And we'll give them a shot of the. Uh, Oh, little yeah. little toys here too. Yeah, I can never have enough of those things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, oh man, I gotta quit buying them, but I can't help it. Do the Hot Wheels come with the car? I I'll throw them in. <laughs> I'll throw them in, he says. I'll throw them in. <laughs> yeah, if you're we willing to write the check. Awesome. I guarantee. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. What do you think, Jim? Th th this one uh, looking pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's, it's been, got the profile right. Yeah, and it's been tubbed yeah. out in the back to run them big slicks on it. I don't know whether you can pick it's that up or right not. System, I think. Yep. Is this one yours too? No, no, no. no. Nope. He wishes. Oh, I like it. I take that too. I, I like it too. I see him driving it. It's an air ride, but you know, I think these air rides, they run a little rough, but I don't know, you know, I've never, I've just only seen her. 
Well, that's a cool truck nonetheless. But it still looks nice slammed down to the ground like It that. sure does. And this next one coming up is a Jimmy Martinez vehicle. He's had this one for a number of years, and it's been in a number of car shows. Yep. You see it around the valley. And it's a cool car. It is. Very well done. Uh, More or less the old school type pot rod. Mm-hmm. Takes a little bit of work to drive one of these. And the one next door belongs to Mr. Martinez, too. And here we're on to Mr. Donkel's Studebakers here. Mr. Donkel, would you like to mention something about your Studebakers? Uh, this is a 1947 Studebaker. Uh, this individual had one of these. And in 1952, he got married, and uh, he uh, eloped him and his uh, him and his bride eloped to Raton, New Mexico, to get married. Then, as he grew up, he got rid of the car. So, as life went on, he w went back and made one just like they eloped in. <laughs> very cool, and it is very deluxe too. It is. It's a delu regal deluxe, and it has everything on it except the Venetian blinds that go in the back window. <laughs> 1947 uh, Venetian blinds were an option here on this Studebaker Champ four-door Regal Deluxe. It's got a huge whole paragraph of options and accessories. Oh, he wants to get the, the full curb appeal. What a cool car. Oh, he's got a baby riding with him, riding shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah, nice. He's ticketed now for uh, having a kid. <laughs> In the uh, wrong type of car seat there, huh? Wrong type of car seat. <laughs> yep. And, uh, what the seat belts were was dad's right arm and mother's left arm. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Of course, Mr. Donkel uh, sponsoring our broadcast today with at the car wash in Los Animas. Thank you for uh, taking that over, cleaning it up, and making it usable again, Chuck. Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate your support here on Seco News. It, for the, it was done for the people of, law, of Los Angeles. There you go. Or of the Arkansas Valley. Heck yeah, thank you for providing a kick-ass car wash. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Here, we'll get the drive through going on here. Whatever vehicle type, it's welcome. I think we've got a couple videos on this taxi cab already up, so we'll 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 make another one another day. Right. You want to tell us a little bit about your Jeep? All right. Sure. And Club President Greg Holt here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Jeep uh, is over in Montrose. Okay. On a thrifty nickel newspaper ad, my dad went over for to check it out. Yeah. And so he said, "Dad, I lived over here. Just go over to Montrose. T took a look at it." Guy wanted six hundred dollars for it. This says, "Well, let's try starting it up." We started it up, and the whole front end was going up and down like this, and turned it off really quick. Yeah. And Dad said, "Well, maybe it's a crankshaft. You know, and it's not cheap, you know." Right. I'll give you four hundred bucks for it. So he goes in and talks to his wife. She says, "Yeah, let's get rid of that." <laughs> right. So Move it. He brought it back to Gunnison, where my dad lives. Dropped the pan on it. He forgot to tighten up the main bearings. Oh no! He had just overhauled it, so we tightened up the main bearings and it ran like a sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Been running ever since. Yeah, I've done a lot of work. Too. <laughs> a lot of work. Emphasis on a lot. <laughs> cool. So, what year did you get it? I got it in the early '90s, and uh, it's. Originally, a Forest Service Jeep came out with a hard top with winch in '51, and it was in Nevada all its life. Wow! Yeah, yeah Nevada is a good state go. to buy one from, right? Nice and dry. Nice and dry. Wow, my camera is just going all over with. You're a Mustang guy, right? Oh, thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Tony hooking me up with a new ride for my birthday. Ty, you want to tell us a little bit about your truck? Yes, sir. 
Nope, we'll just keep rolling. Okay. Now we want to mention DNM Auto and Truck Repair. Doug and Missy here. They provide the music for the show. This is kind of an annual tradition for them, huh? Yes, it is. Uh, they, I called them up to make sure they was going to be here, and they said they just anticipated that. So, but we don't want to take them for granted. They're here every year to support us and do uh, music and and announcements for us. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate awesome. hanging out with you today. Yeah, we'd like to embarrass Adrian also. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. So much fun. yes, he takes a turn with the microphone, I take a turn with the camera, yeah. and we have a good time. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank we you appreciate guys again it. for doing that for us. Yeah, thank yep. You thank you. And of course, uh, DNM Auto and Truck Repair, one of our sponsors uh, for our live stream here. So get a hold of Doug. Uh, this is his ride too. We don't normally see this truck, do we, Doug? Do you want to tell us a little about it? It's it's got a big block, right? Yeah, it's got a 429 in it. It's uh, it's a 73. Ford high boy, they're kind of rare. Um, believe it or not, it had a factory vinyl top and it was all falling apart, so we decided to rhino wire it with some UV in it. It really looks good, I think. Yeah, it does so, look good. From from 20 foot, it looks like the vinyl top is still there. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. And yep. about the only thing it needs is right now is the rust repair of all the reels and a new paint job and they'll be ready to go so. yeah uh, 429 in there that's yeah. plenty of go yeah it pulls the trigger fine <laughs> <laughs> well cool nice nice addition to the garage doug thank you <laughs> kind of a full house we don't want to pass up pass leonard's up. stuff yeah. uh, leonard's you. also a long time member of the club and uh big collector of cars this barracuda is my favorite car of his and i haven't seen everything in the garage i know it no uh, <laughs> leonard, leonard has a number of uh, mopar yeah vehicles uh this what a one, gorgeous I, little think, barracuda. I think this one he's only had maybe three or four years yep yeah sounds about right he's only had it for a handful of years Very cool. Mopar Fastback. I like that. Cool. And then here's Leonard again with his with his website pickup. Yeah, we've made that truck famous on the website, man. <laughs> he gets it in every parade, doesn't he? Yes, he has. And uh, <laughs> I'll throw a little plug in here. He uh, also uh, drove my granddaughter up to her wedding place out in the country when she got married in this truck. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, really a rare factory uh, production truck there. The swept side is just so cool. The, the taillights is a good view on this thing. Yeah. You don't see them. Very neat. They look more like a Chrysler taillight to me. Mm-hmm. Admiring your truck here, Leonard. That's okay. Anything you want to tell us about it, or you want to tell us something about your Cuda? Or I'm the Mopar person of the club. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> That's all I have to say. All right. Well, and thank I, you. And I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, Leonard. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Boy, if he wasn't on camera, he'd talk my ear off. <laughs> and the one next door it belongs to me. Yeah, we just saw you in the uh, was it early Settlers Day parade. Were you in that one with this? Yes, I did. Uh, but this is also Mopar powered. It's got a 360 Plymouth in it. Okay. Uh, a, a little bit harder to describe the vehicle, though. Tell us about it. Well, uh, the only thing original to it is this part right here, the <laughs> firewall part. Uh, everything else I made. Uh, and I could go on and on. Uh, just to point out, for instance, the front fender is is like a uh, tandem axle trailer fender. I just cut in half. That gave me lefts and rights. <laughs> nice. Uh, the front grill I made myself. Uh, the bars in the center are actually curtain rods. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the rest of it is all wood. Uh, 
It's just an idea I had, and, and I put it together. And just kind of kept on going, huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, my. That dash is pretty cool. Bare minimum on the dash. I love it. Cool truck, man. I don't know if it, it's it's not technically a truck. It's more like a wagon. Cool. And this Cobra next door here belongs to my son. Uh, he's down here out of Pueblo with it to be at the car show today. Uh, it's just a go fast car. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's the right color. And it's got a Kenny Bell supercharger right there on top. Uh, is that like a, that's a 5.0? Is that a 3.02? 289. 289. With a, with a with blower. Turbo. Yeah. Well, that's a uh, Kenny Bell. Almost like a Whipple style blower. Very nice. Instant power. No lag on that. No, there isn't. <laughs> I wish I had one of those on my car. <laughs> and then next, we have Richard Thomas here with his John Deere tractor. Yep. It's a classic, and we see it in the parades, too. Richard's also known for rebuilding tractors that they auction off every year. For the Mennonite Relief Sale. Yes. Absolutely. We ought to have some info coming up on that here pretty soon. And the one next door used to be his, and he sold it. Okay. To Mark there, huh? And, and you can talk about the next car. We I can talk about this here. car. Uh, my favorite story to tell about this car is when my dad told me giving a kid a car like that would be child abuse, son. Uh, so I did not get to drive this car when I was 16. I've driven it a couple times. But this is technically my mom's car. But yeah, that's an S code. 1967 Cougar. It was the Motor Trend Car of the Year in 1967. It's really a dressed up pony is what it is. Uh, but it's that S code, so that means it's got the, uh, check out those mag wheels. We like the mag wheels on it. Nice clean interior. Looks stone stock. Under the hood, it looks like it's got the Shelby motor. He's done it up pretty nice, that air cleaner. Again, one of my favorite cars. That 390 big block uh, runs pretty hot. They're known for doing that. Here we go. Well, this next one here belongs to Gary Codwell. Hey, Gary, how we doing? Good. You want to Beautiful fair lane. Cool car today. Cool car to drive. It's a good cruising car. <laughs> Lots of fun in that. Yes, it does. Yeah. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had three years now. So. Yeah. Cool. Just breaking it in then. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice color on it too. Beautiful. And the next one here belongs to Tom Ryder. Very nice, clean little... El Camino. I've seen this one win some shows. Yes. And when he got that fresh paint job on it, it looked like it was still wet there for about a year. Small block powered El Camino. Can't go wrong there. And our next vehicle belongs to Alvin Grimm, and he's had it for a number of years. Yep, he sure likes his uh, display pieces for the car shows. I think he's got a tarantula up there showing maybe the show that's going to be coming up pretty soon on that in Parade, I believe. Yep. Do you know if the club's going to, are they doing a car show again for that? I believe we are. Cool. Uh, we have our choice of 
same place down at the courthouse or between 3rd and 4th on uh, Santa Fe. And I believe we'll be on uh, between 3rd and 4th on, on Santa, Santa Fe. Fe. Yeah, sounds nice. Oh, he's got the 8-tracks in there for the original 8-track player in the dash. And I didn't he, at one point he had a drive, one of those drive-in speakers he'd bring with it. Yeah. He must not have hauled the drive-in speaker. Oh, topless parking only. Guess the camera really wanted you guys to see that. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day for a car show. If you can make it down and do a walk through, I highly encourage it. All the owners are here and friendly and willing to talk about their cars with you. I, I'm sure we don't haul much in that trailer. We don't want to scratch it off. <laughs> That's right. That's a pretty trailer. <laughs> Very pretty. They were kind of expensive, but it makes the car look nice. Yeah, you got to have it's kind of the planer car. And this next one belongs to Fulbright, and I believe this one also has been in the family since day one. Yeah. One member or the other of the family has owned this car. Very cool when they keep them in the family. Got to love it. Here, we can look at that. I got the green interior. These Oldsmobiles were a good good road car. Oh, yeah. Way back, I had a 52 Oldsmobile, and then later on, I had a 56 Olds convertible. Well, there's, we got to get the Oldsmobile rocket valve cover in there. The old 88. <laughs> Cool. Before they got giant. <laughs> and then we're here with Leonard Walgren again with his, his convertible. So he actually does multiple trips back and forth, bringing the cars he, down to the park. Him and his wife shuttles back and forth to get all these vehicles here. <laughs> That's pretty uh, cool. He has more than what he's the three that's here but that's where he said he's stopping today with just bringing three down <laughs> well it's nice that he brought three cars it uh, is and it's not too late to come show your car down here uh you guys have an entry fee in the show no the no it's always fee? free mm -hmm. so if you've got something interesting or unique in the garage you've got it shined up bring it on down cool we got one to go here and he's a fairly new club member yeah this is wayne's car uh nice little mustang mm -hmm. nice striping on it we'll get our interior shot here it's easy to do when it's a convertible Making me look lazy now. I, I see the horses on the seat, and I don't know for sure if, if a, that indicates a pony package for it or not. I, I'd say those are not original seats. Those look like nicer seats than what you, I got you, in my Mustang. You might be right. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> He's riding comfortably in style. So uh, bring what you got. Come on down to the Southeast Carlo Antique Vehicle Club Car Show. You guys' annual show, free admission to spectate, free entry if you've got a unique car. And, of course, uh, come check out the club members. Might be something you're interested in joining. There you go. Uh, and also, uh, you don't have to bring a car. You can just come down and walk through. Yep. We, we like to see the the street traffic come through and, and, and look at the cars and enjoy them, same as we do. Yep. Well, you guys will be here till 3 o'clock. So yep. come join the club. Of course, our live stream coverage sponsored by uh, lots of friends of the club. Rocky Ford Auto Parts, uh, your <coughs> Napa dealer there in Rocky Ford, Kenny and Carol and family uh, supporting Seco News and the club. Uh, we also got to mention d &M Auto and Truck Repair, Chuck Donkel with At the Car Wash in Los Animas, and Kelly and Sarah Uterman there in Rocky Ford with Absolute Automotive, supporting all things automotive here on seconews.org. 
Uh, gorgeous. Anything you want to add? Well, Mr. Also, Huff? for Kenny Wilson there, uh, I get a lot of Model A parts from him. <laughs> uh, I do have a couple of Model A's. I'm still working on one, but he does have a lot of parts that you can pick up uh, other than through the Napa dealership. So uh, stop and give them a try and see if you need older parts. All right. Very and good. Thank you, Adrian, for doing this for the car club. Hey, thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate uh, being a member of the club. And it's always such a good time coming to your events. Yeah, we enjoy it. There we go. For the Southeast Colorado Antique Vehicle Club and the people of Southeast Colorado from La Junta City Park, I'm Adrian Hart.